What is conditional approval? It means that something needs to be worked towards. So for example, trust. I was talking to a potential new client just a couple of days ago and on the phone, she's like, I trust you. And I'm like, no, you don't. See, trust has to be earned. And there are five levels of trust. The first level is, do, do you get them? The second level is, once you get them, are you for them? The third level is, are you a person of character? The fourth level is, do you have a track record? The fifth level is, now you can work on something together. So that takes time to get that conditional approval based on meeting requirements. Respect. Respect is also conditional approval. Uh, so respect is just saying, yeah, I value you and I honor that value, but that needs to show up through my actions. There needs to be tangible evidence that I respect you. And therein lies the challenge because we are seeking conditional approval in areas where giving them more isn't going to change anything. If someone does not value your love, giving them more love isn't going to change that. If someone does not value truth, oh, that's a big one going on in today's society. Uh, if someone doesn't value truth, trying to show them the error of their ways ain't going to change it. If someone doesn't value healthy growth, more life in a way that benefits everyone. Trying to get them to grow? No, nope, it's not going to do anything. Uh, in fact, growth can actually show up dysfunctional. Cancer is growth. Cancer is growth without boundaries. And when people want to violate boundaries, yeah, what they're doing is very cancerous. Okay, so someone does not value you. You cannot seek conditional approval and acceptance from them by giving them more of what didn't work to start with. And what does that lead that, us to? That leads us to our containers of magnificence and brilliance leaking. What do I mean by that? Okay, so boundaries. Boundaries are simply a container that holds something. And we have boundaries with others as well as internal boundaries. And these boundaries allow us to access what's inside of them. You have a boundary uh, around your wellness, physical wellness, um, as well as the wellness and what you can produce for your environment. And that container of wellness holds hope and optimism and what you value, the things that are phenomenal in life. And then you have a spiritual maturity container that holds acceptance and grace and truth and what you're willing to do, as well as the rules that restrict access to you if it hasn't been earned in a healthy way. And then there's autonomy. That's, that is where you are separate and distinct and you are able to regulate and take ownership. And then you have relationship container where you are interdependent. You've got people that you can rely on. You um, have a, a competency in these areas. That's, that's just to go over these different buckets, if you will, um, and, in a light level way. And when you've had uh, programming and conditioning, that says you must have conditional acceptance for your value, for your love, for your growth, for your truth. Well, trust has been broken again and again for you. 
So what you will continue to do is to give more, thinking that you're finally going to get those needs met. But no, when you're a dysfunctional giver, you attract dysfunctional takers. So those past events, you have no trust. Then you have perceived deficiencies. What you think is broken, flawed, and needs to be fixed within you because this has continued to happen, not realizing that it is what you were taught to do. And now you will find yourself in immediate events that continue to trigger this taking from you. And it's like someone's come along and they've poked holes in your bucket to where it's not even a bucket anymore. It's a sieve and everything you pour into it continues to leak all over the place. And that way, when you go to the bucket to be able to draw off of it, to nurture and nourish yourself, there is nothing there for you. And so what have you done? You have taken responsibility for this, but in a way that leads to protection. And for most of my clients, this is one of the first things that I have to work on with them. Because you can either move into progress or you can move into protection, but you are not going to be able to do both at the same time because one is avoidance. The other is amplification. So what do you need to do? You need to take responsibility, all right, for your healing to where you can move into power, where you repair the buckets with boundaries and rules, where you begin to realize that you've been giving yourself away in areas that you don't need to earn a gosh darn thing, that you need to be honored, and that, yes, trust needs to be earned, respect needs to be earned, but that the value of you, your love, you wanting to be able to grow based on truth is going to only happen based on your magnificence and your brilliance. It's actually known as your strengths, talents, abilities, and gifts. And that is an exercise I take my clients through the very beginning of working with me because that's what's going to lead to the growth after we've repaired the bucket. So when you put something in it, it's actually there for when you need to draw on it instead of finding that your account is consistently overdrawn, not your fault, but people are continuing to benefit from you trying to earn in areas where there needs to be a revelation. Okay, so how do you stop the self-sabotage and begin to create the life you desire? Um, begin to look at what you've been giving, giving away about yourself in order to think that if you give them more, you'll finally get, nope. You've been looking that, at that as a transaction. Instead, it should be an engagement. You bring the best parts of you. They bring their best parts together. You create something that that is so significant that the two of you could not do on your own. So where have you been giving yourself away? trying to earn because of it. Mm. And then what does need to be earned? They need to earn your trust. They need to know you. They need to get you. They need to be for you. They need to have a track record. They need to be a person of character. But you can also be looking at that for yourself and those buckets. Which one do you need to draw on right now for the season that you're moving forward in? And what repair can happen? And then finally, responsibility. This is when you start creating the life you desire. Will the protection be in place? Yes, because now you begin to understand what needs to be earned and what needs to be experienced. 
and you move into progress instead of always trying to find a way to protect yourself against the pain. If I can assist you with this, I would be honored. So until we get together again, blessings on your journey, as well as your destination. The journey is where you go from, as we're told, glory to glory, victory to victory. So that's the journey. The destination is who the revelation of who you really are.